Hey yo, what up guys, Pixelated here, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about on how to farm the new Zephyr Prime relics. So Zephyr Prime came out one day ago, and pretty much everyone has been asking me to make a video on how to farm the relics quickly, like what are the best places or the best missions to farm the new relics. So today I thought I would make a video talking about those things. So basically, these are my opinions on how to farm the relics quickly or what are the best missions. So the first mission I'm going to be talking about is Zini on Eris for Neo and Axie relics. Now, Neo and Axie relics are really not that hard to farm if you have a good team and if you know the place where to farm Neo and Axie relics. So, the first mission I have is Zini on Eris. It's an interception mission. The map is not very big. A, f a slow Nova, a Equinox, a Ember, and a Obreon or a yeah, whatever you want to take will do or even a mag. Basically, you need crowd control or a limbo would be good for this map because limbo can cover a whole bunch of the map and just make the enemies freeze and make the thing much more easier for you guys. So, Xenion Eris is a really good place to farm the Neo, uh, the new Neo and Axie relics. I mean, the drop chances, uh, the drop chances on Neo uh, for Neo and Axie on Xenia are really not that bad. But you do get a mod sometimes on the first wave. But that's you know that's debatable because most of the time you will get relic. Like as you can see, I got lit K1 and um, no, not lit. Uh, Neo K1 and Axie H3, I got those from my first run or second run on Zini. Sometimes I didn't get one, but yeah, that's Zini, my first choice for Neo and Axie. And the second choice that I have for Neo and Axie relics is Kala Azar. It's a defense mission on Eris. Now, this mission, on the other hand, is a really, really good mission to farm Neo and Axie relics. And the reason behind that is that it's a defense mission. So if you want, if you can take a fast Nova, it would be really helpful because the enemies are gonna be uh, like coming out from every single direction very fast and you'll be like finishing the waves pretty fast. So a fast Nova, a Equinox, and a Ember with a World on Fire build would do with max damage. And if you guys if you guys can take an Equinox or a Saren, a Saren is a, does a really good job in this mission if you take a, no, a fast Nova with Saren, that's a good great combination as well. Like I said, a fast Nova, a Saren, a Ember, and an Equinox does the job pretty perfectly or if you want even if or if you want to take a frost you can take a frost as well that's totally up to you but a good team is really needed for this mission because it's a sort of high level if you go with like shit weapons or like shit frames it's really not going to be uh easy to farm like i said you you guys are going to be needing good weapons good frames to go through this mission quickly and the thing i like about this is this is the same map as a cod if you guys didn't know a cod was a defense mission and as you can see i got neo z1 Neo K1 and ne Axie O2 from this mission as well. You guys can do this mo mission multiple times. Now, for Meso Relics, for the new Meso Relics, I would really suggest you guys doing EO on Jupiter. EO on Jupiter is probably the best place, and I mean the best place, and I mean again the best place to farm the new Meso Relics. I mean, EO on Jupiter is pretty much a no-brainer. You guys, you guys should take an Equinox, an Ember with a World on Fire build, or hell, even a Banshee with a Quake build just can nuke out the entire map. You can do this solo pretty easily, but pro tip here, do the first 10 waves or the, the first 10 rounds, like till wave 10, of course, just do till wave 10 to get the Meso relics because after that the Neo relics start to drop. So do till wave 10 and then extract. And the relic drop chances are really not that bad for this mission. The uh, from, from my testing, uh, the Meso relics drop really quickly, especially on EO, the Meso relics drop really quickly. So I'd really suggest you guys doing Meso, Meso uh, for Meso, you guys should do EO on Jupiter. So that's my opinion. And if you guys want to rank up some weapons and, you know, unranked weapons, or if you guys just want to fuck around with the map you guys can do that because uh, yeah this th this map is pretty open just take an equinox just take an ember just nuke the entire map and it's pretty fun to play it or if you want to go with friends that's totally up to you so yeah eo on jupiter is my favorite choice uh for uh, the new meso relics i think the new meso relics are the like the meso t1 and the meso t2 they drop pretty easily on eo on jupiter so yeah as you can as you guys can see i got meso t2 one time this is the first time i believe then again i got meso t2 and meso t1 on the same mission so just do till wave 10 and extract and as you can see i got 
those relics as well also you guys can get new real sensors from this mission as well so that's a bonus now finally we are at the very last point of the video which is for the new lit relics so for the new lit relics i would really suggest you guys doing the orkin derelict defense now some of you guys may be asking why do, why just don't do tickle which is like a tickle tickle -a? No, I'm not going to be pronouncing that fucking name again, okay? So, you, you guys should just probably do ODD on the Orkin Derelict. So, why this mission? It's a defense mission. Take a Banshee, take a Frost, and take a Trinity just so the Banshee can get energy to spam Quake. As you can see, I was playing as a I was playing as a frost with protection around the with protection around the defense t uh, the defense thingy, and someone was using a ember, and another guy was using a fast nova. You can take a fast nova on this mission if you want to. Uh, that's optional, but a uh, banshee with a quake build is a must, and eternity is a must as well. We actually struggled with energy in this mission, but not so much because the because the guy had Zenurix. So as you guys can see, I got lit H two and I got lit Z one from this mission as well, and finally if all hell breaks loose for you guys just buy the syndicate relic packs okay because the syndicate relic packs really have a high drop chance of dropping the new relics so i would really suggest you guys stacking up on those syndicate points and just buy the syndicate relic packs because that's a great way to get the new relics as well so those are pretty much all of the ways that i think are really good to farm the new zephyr prime relics so that's it for you guys i have tested all of these places these work out perfectly fine so i really suggest you guys doing these missions so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton and yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one peace hope you all have a great day